Welcome to CIMATEC and thank you for joining this presentation about our induction heaters CIMATER. In this presentation, I will introduce you our smallest but very efficient induction heater, the IH025 Volcano and the advantages of inductive heating. Before we start, a few words to myself and our company. My name is Thomas Danz and I work as a precise consultant at CIMATEC since May 2020. My tasks include answering technical questions about our products, advising customers, conducting different trainings for salespeople and carrying out various product tests. CIMATEC is a Swiss company based in Switzerland and our products are made in Switzerland. So we develop and produce bearing maintenance products. We are going to celebrate our 40th anniversary next year. And our products are innovative and high quality products made in Switzerland, as I mentioned before. We are a trusted supplier to our resellers in our global distribution network. CIMATEC exports about 95% of its production and is an ISO 9001 certified company. Our global distribution network is extensive. In certain countries, we work with subsidiaries or with joint ventures. But the most typical business model is that we work through local distributors in different countries. Our product portfolio consists of three product groups. There we have the CIMA loop, an automatic lubricant dispenser, then our CIMA tools, which are well-proven bearing maintenance tools for mounting and dismounting ball bearings and radial shaft seals. And last but not least, our SEMA term induction heaters. Now we are going to have a closer look at SEMA term, the topic of today. As you all know, there are several ways to mount bearings on a shaft. With a suitable tool, smaller bearings can be easily mounted manually or with the help of a press. But the larger the bearings become, the more difficult it is to mount them. In practice, bearings are often heated to make mounting easier. But not all heating processes are equally suitable. Oil baths, for example, are one possibility. However, this method has more disadvantages than advantages. In oil baths, dirt particles can be deposited, which in turn can get into the bearings and impair their service life. When removing the bearing, there is a risk of being burned by the dripping hot oil. In addition, when oil is heated, vapors are released that are both harmful to the environment and to health. This must be countered with the appropriate equipment. The heating of the component itself takes a comparatively long time compared to other methods. Furthermore, the oil must first be heated to temperature before it can be used to heat the bearings. This takes quite a long time depending on the size of the oil bath. The purchase and maintenance costs as well as the energy consumption are also comparatively high compared to other heating methods. The heating of bearings by using burners or open flames is still a common practice. The disadvantage here is that the bearing is heated very irregularly or even punctually, which in turn can lead to damage or deformation. Also, this method of heating bearings is extremely inefficient. When using ovens, the bearings are heated by hot air. Here too, heating takes a relatively long time and energy consumption is also correspondingly high. With this method, only small to medium bearings can be heated. Now we come to our SEMA term induction heaters. Heating by induction is the gentlest method of heating bearings and other components quickly and in a controlled manner to the desired assembly temperature. There's no risk of damage due to mechanical overloads, open flames, contaminated oil baths or excessively hot ovens. After each heating cycle, the heated workpiece will automatically be demagnetized. When using SEMA term induction heaters, 
only the bearing becomes hot during the heating cycle. The device itself remains cold and can be touched without danger. Gentle heating can extend the service life of bearings and so reduce repair and downtime costs of plants and machinery. Compared to conventional heating methods, heating times and power consumption will also be significantly reduced. Before we have a closer look on our smallest induction heater, allow me to say a few words about causes of bearing failures. Several studies have shown that about 14% of all premature bearing failures are due to external contamination. Approximately 36% due to insufficient lubrication. Another 34% fall into the material fatigue category. And about 16% of early bearing failures are due to improper assembly. If suitable mounting tools or devices and the necessary knowledge are lacking when replacing rolling bearings, new bearings are often subjected to high forces during mounting and thus damaged. Early bearing failures are thus pre-programmed. The right method with professional special equipment already helps against this during bearing fitting. Only in this way the new bearings will achieve the expected service life. <coughs> As mentioned before, we will now take a closer look at our smallest but very efficient induction heater, the IHO25 Volcano. The IHO25 Volcano is suitable for heating rolling bearings or other ring-shaped workpieces such as bushings, shrink rings, pulleys, rings or similar. It is portable and intended mainly for repair work and rolling bearing replacement in the field by service and maintenance staff. Now let's have a look at the operating principle. The IHO25 Volcano generates a magnetic field in the medium frequency range, similar to an inductive hot plate. This magnetic field induces an electrical voltage specifically in the inner ring of the bearing. The generated eddy currents efficiently heat the bearing. The heat is generated within the workpiece by the current flow leaving all other parts of the heating device cold. Since the IHO25 volcano is based on the eddy current principle, the parts to be heated must be made of ferritic magnetic metals. Whether the part to be heated is magnetic or not can be easily checked by using the magnet of the temperature probe. This heating method enables workpieces to be heated quickly, easily and energy efficiently. Now let me show you what features the IHO25 Volcano offers. It is portable, compact, lightweight and ideal for mobile use. The Volcano is the lightest device in its performance class available on the market. The device weighs only 3.5 kilograms and can be carried comfortably and easily with the included carrying bag. The Volcano reaches a maximum power of 1.5 kVA. It is the device with the most selectable power levels in the world. This provides a professional solution for the wide variety of bearing types, especially important for the correct heating of precision bearings with low clearance, pre-greased and sealed bearings with steel or plastic seals. In addition, the Volcano can be connected to a normal household socket for operation. The IHO25 Volcano can be used either in temperature or time mode. In temperature mode, the control range can be set between 20 and 180 degrees Celsius. Of course, the temperature can also be displayed and set in degrees Fahrenheit. The bearing or the workpiece will be heated until the set target temperature has been reached. Important, always pay attention to the manufacturer's instructions before heating bearings. In time mode, the workpiece is not heated to a specific temperature, but for a specific time. The timer can be set from zero to a maximum of 10 minutes. The IHO25 Volcano can be used anywhere in the world. Therefore, the device is available in three different versions for different voltages.
Next, I will show you a short video that was provided to us by the Abby Schmidt Group. The Abby Schmidt Group is a leading global supplier of intelligent solutions for the treatment of critical infrastructure areas and challenging terrain. The products are used for summer and winter service. For example, various sweepers for cleaning roads, industrial areas or cycle path, or in winter for spreading salt. In cold condition, the bearing does not fit in the shaft. For this reason, Abby Schmidt heats the bearing to 90 degrees Celsius. After approximately one minute, the temperature is reached so that the bearing can be mounted on the shaft. In addition to the IHO 25 Volcano, we also offer other induction heaters the IHO-70, the IHO-90, and the IH-210, as you can see on the slide. Also shown is the maximum power of each device and the maximum workpiece weight that can be heated with it. These Simaterm induction heaters are intended for heating rolling bearings, but also other ring-shaped components made of metal can be heated with them. For example, liners, shrink rings, pulleys, or gears. Here are some more application examples that show how and where our induction heaters can be used. So they're used in vehicle industry, gearbox manufacture, manufacture of electric motors, manufacture of pumps, in general engineering, and in maintenance and repair workshops. Finally, once again, the most important advantages of our SEMA term devices and induction heating. First, you will increase the bearing lifetime. The workpieces are heated precisely, evenly and quickly. There is no risk of damage from excessive mechanical stress, open flames, dirty oil baths or excessively hot ovens or plates. The workpieces are automatically demagnetized after heating. In addition, work safety can be increased and you can reduce the power level for heating up smaller parts, sealed or pre-greased bearings and bearings with small internal clearance. So as you can see, there are many reasons to choose a SEMATERM induction heater for heating bearings or other work pieces. This brings us to the end of the presentation. So my colleague Dario Zurbuchen and myself would like to invite you to join our Q&A session right after. So if you have any questions about our SEMATERM induction heaters or about our other products, then please stay tuned for the Q&A session or send us an email at support at Thanks for watching and stay healthy.